Yay! Hi! Thanks. Hi! We're back! <laughs> this time we're at the Sedgwick Stop in the party room, and uh, I'm Carrie Blazek, the headmistress of Merrymaking at Whiskey Whimsy, and this is Hillary Lake, and I am the uh, partner and manager here at the Sedgwick Stop. Right, right, and together we are the Twisted, Twisted Whiskey, Whiskey Sisters. Sisters. So, I just happened to get my Whiskey Advocate magazine on the way over to the Sedgwick stop, and it is the Rye Revival edition, so we figured, hey, let's uh, test drive some ryes today. So, tell them what we have, Hillary. What's our selection of the day? Okay, <laughs> we're going to taste um, three different ryes today. We're going to start with um, Templeton Rye out of Iowa. Iowa. Um, and this is uh, the lowest proof rye on our uh, on our list today, and uh, it's a 90% rye mash bill. Yep, 90% rye, uh, 80 proof, right? Yep. Then number two, going down the line, we're going to do some bullet. It's not boule, it's bullet. <laughs> Get it right. Get it right. Get I it met bullet. <laughs> he pronounced his name bullet, so it's not boule. Um, this is a uh, 95% rye and 90 proof, so we'll taste that second. And then we have um, Knob Creek rye, and uh, this is <laughs> this is a uh, hundred and five or a hundred just hundred proof, hundred proof, yeah, fifty percent, yeah. hundred proof. And we could not um, find the mash bill for this, so we. Don't know how much rye is in We're not sure. At least 51%. We know that much. But the cool thing that when I looked at the Whiskey Advocate magazine that I didn't know before we decided to go down the rye avenue today is that um, rye is actually older than bourbon. And there's a really awesome little article in here about George Washington and his distillery and um, some of the history of rye. So check it out. You grab your copy of Whiskey Advocate and do your research. So while we do some tastings, and of course... Henrietta, always at the helm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. A little cray cray. All right, so let me pour. I don't usually pour. No, you don't. Let me pour it. Hey. Mm. Have some Templeton Rye. This is out of Iowa. Iowa. Iowa, our next door neighbor. And there's a rumor that they are um, breeding pigs with oh. whiskey. Or yeah, they have this uh, whiskey pig, rye whiskey pig project going on where they're attempting to raise pigs that taste like whiskey. I don't know. Check it out. It sounds amazing. <laughs> we might have to take our own little field trip over there. So this is Templeton Prohibition Era Recipe Rye, small batch rye whiskey. As Hillary said, uh, 80 proof and 90% rye. That smells lovely. That smells lovely. That's it for today. <laughs> That's all. We're done. <laughs> My brain is frazzled this week. I'm sorry. It's been a mm. Chicago Craft Beer Week around here. Ooh. And um, I've been drinking a lot of beer. So I'm happy to have a little whiskey today. It's very light. Um, I'm so with I don't rise, allergies or what, but my nose is <coughs> a little stopped up. Um, with rye, I've always noticed that there's like this herbal quality, like Christmas tree smell mm -hmm. and taste. Um, I don't know. Do you get that? Okay. I get something a little herbly, a little minty. And there's some vanillas there to me. Hmm. Some spicy spiciness that smells like, um, like a little bit of cinnamon maybe. But it's very light. There, uh, I think yeah, because of the low good. alcohol content, you don't get that pungent alcohol mm -hmm. right in the nose. It sometimes hits you when you're uh, doing a little sniff test. He's very easy drinking. Um, yeah, very One, yeah. one very of the things that Hillary and I were talking about before we got on the, on the tube <laughs> was that, like, we talked about how rye is kind of like rye bread spicy, but then we didn't really make the correlation between cornbread and rye bread. But somebody pointed that out, or I was reading somewhere on the internet, or I don't know, I wrote it down, and then I read it something, I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, when you think about cornbread, it's super sweet and really yeah. yummy. Yeah. And that's like a bourbon, because it has that high, you know, corn content. And rye has to, of course, be at least 51% rye in order for it to be called a rye. So it does lend a spicier taste to it, which I really like. It doesn't I really like a lot of cocktails. Yeah. 
Um, it's it's fun, you know, to add to your repertoire of your your tasting your whiskey tasting tasting. list. Mm -hmm. This for me is like uh, very front of the mouth, forward, spicy. Like it opens up into this really spicy, but it all stays in the front of yeah. my mouth for me. Um, no, it doesn't have a really long finish. No, not at all. But or, or take me on much of a ride. No. The very a rye, very very spicy, and consistent flavored. I like it. I'm gonna leave a little in my glass so I can compare. Nice. Numero so, dos. Numero two. Bullet. Bullet. Don't confuse it. No, Boulet. <laughs> Bobby Boucher. <laughs> Mama says we're using alligator salon or he has to get all them teeth and no toothbrush. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, the water boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Wait, Hillary. is it a movie reference? Yes. <laughs> Crap. Poor Hillary. We're always talking about movie references and she's like, I've never seen that. <laughs> so this is the bullet ride. 95% rye, um, and a little higher alcohol content. This is 45% alcohol, so 90 proof. Mm. And I don't get a huge punch in the face with alcohol, even though it's that high of a proof. Yeah, yeah that's kind of nice. It's, a, it's sp spicier spicy. to me. Um, more, more on the cloves than cinnamon edge. It does have that minty, like, uh, pine yeah. kind of smell to it. I wonder where that comes from. I think it's the rye, so yeah. to be honest, because they all have that. Yeah, when I think about, like, the caraway seeds, yeah. I, it would be kind of cool to do a tasting, like, with the caraway yeah. seeds and then smell the rye and yeah. smell the seeds and see the comparison. I always like the sausage that has a caraway in it. This is even more forward sweet. to me. And sweet, yeah. It's so amazing how <laughs> these things taste when you taste them against each other. It just, it's amazing. It, yeah, it adds much more to the experience yeah. and fun, doesn't totally. it? Totally. Yeah. I would have not, like, if I would just drink this, I think I was not noticed how sweet it is. Uh huh. Yeah, it even, and then you go back and you smell it, and like, oh, it even smells sweet. Yeah. Like that, now I'm picking it more like a, reminds me of cinnamon buns. <laughs> the cinnamon I think, buns I think rye whiskey, whiskey and cinnamon buns would be a good breakfast. Hell yeah. Throw some bacon. bacon. <laughs> <laughs> we like bacon. We like pork with our, uh, our whiskey. whiskey. Mm-hmm. Right, and easy. very, um... Not not a long finish on that either. Smooth. Mm -hmm. A little a little longer than the Templeton, but um, still very still smooth and all front of the mouth front for of me. The mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Front and roof. Cool. Yay! All right, let's do numero three. Hey, wobble down the street with Knob, some Knob Creek. Knob Creek. I should wear my Knob Creek shirt. Today. Oh, I, forgot I don't have one of those. We need t-shirts. Someone left Any it at my house. <laughs> house. <laughs> Want to send us t-shirts? Or if, you're, t -shirts. or if you're local and you'd like to guest star on an episode, we can probably make that happen. So leave it in the comments down below. And uh, we'll get you hooked up. We'll bring you in here to Chicago. Hang out at the Sedgwick stop and, um, drink you know, whiskey. drink some whiskey with the Twisted Whiskey Sisters. So I get a sweet nose right away. Pow! And shockingly, because this is underproof, a hollow nose, not finding that much at all, mm -hmm. surprisingly. And uh, I don't notice this one as being as sweet. And I get like this toothpaste -y kind of smell. <laughs> hmm. I'm getting vanilla, like, right away. So, we don't know the mash bill for this one, so no. there might be a high percentage of Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Definitely spicier. I still have that minty toothpaste. Maybe it bites cavities. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I 
brushed my teeth with rye whiskey. I brushed my teeth with whiskey. I've done it all my life. <laughs> the new teeth whitener, not great rye. Hmm. I don't know. One thing that I can say, like comparing the ryes to the bourbons, is I don't have. Um, it's a very one note experience for me with the rye. Whereas when I taste a bourbon or other whiskeys that I tend to like, I like more of a varied flavor profile, um, something that's you know multi-layered. This just seems like it's rye, which I love. But if you're wanting yeah. something that's more complex, you probably would want to steer yourself back towards bourbon. These are they're very good, but um, not a lot of complexities like you see in, in other products that we've tested. To. So with that note, we're, we're past the 10 minute mark. Oh, well, so, hey, not that we really, you know, adhere to any regulations. <laughs> we just make shit up as we go, per usual. So, um, yeah, I left a little, a little bit in each one of my glasses. Me too. So I can go back and sweet. do the old snipper. Uh, sweet, sweet, spicy. Yeah, the first one now smells exceptionally sweet, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, super yeah. sweet. Super sweet, like honey and vanilla. Yep. Like candy. And then Christmas trees on number two. Christmas, <laughs> Christmas trees. <laughs> and then, and then spice. spice. Yeah. Yep. So, so, well, I think what we'd like you to do this week is to go out and conduct your own research and leave it in the notes below. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Yeah. Alrighty, yeah. So tell us what your favorite rides are. Tell us what your favorite bourbons are. Tell us if you have suggestions on things that you'd like for us to taste and uh, taste drive, or if you want to send us t-shirts, or if you'd like to appear in an episode. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. And, of course, all three of these. Get our woo tattoo approval. Two tattoo Two approval. Tattoos. Yeah. Well, so, all right. So, as we said, if you like us, make sure down below the video you hit like. Thumbs up, share us with your friends like a good whiskey, and subscribe to make sure you don't miss any episodes. And we will see you next week. Cheers. Cheers. We're out. Bye. Twisted Whiskey Sisters, out. <laughs>